Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our last event of the night of the the tournament of the whole shebang. You know, it's it's Mario Golf in the GameCube, baby. It's Mario Golf to Toadstool Tour. Um, I'm here with Colin, as you can yeah, see. Um, I'm here. Kids in first. Colin's in first. Ten points. I'm no, in second. Eight points. Um, Chaz and Jared are playing right now on the mm. front of Cheap Cheap Falls. Um, yeah, they are. And Jared is in last with five points, and Chaz is in third with seven. So oh. it comes down to this. Um, Jared and Chaz will kick us off in riveting fashion. Um, we went through hell and back to get this course unlocked. Listen, so you better fucking enjoy it. And uh, let's get it. let's don't just get right into it. You know, let's, let's just get right into it. Oh, and I have to race these. Shit. Cheap, cheap balls. It's part four, it's home run. So, yeah, there are bar, not bar yeah, it's not just all par three. <laughs> it's actually golf. Yeah, it's actually real golf. Well, not real, but close to real. So no, it's it's real, dude. Oh, you're angry. Well, let's just get more rageful here. Yeah. Get, great, great shot with the driver get, that they're calling a one wood. Um, How many from Jared. So, would you consider most men on the earth to be a one wood? <laughs> hey, yo, time out, time out. <laughs> what kind of drugs is this kid taking? <laughs> All right, great shot, fireball. You know. Okay, well, <laughs> yep. I'm glad. The one wood. I'm glad the audience did not hear that at home. The one wood. Chad just called you guys all boners. Um. <laughs> if you can read lips, then you know what he said. Uh, second shot, approach shot from Jared. Not bad at all. He seems a little displeased. No, he's, he's only 23 feet away. He's got a good look for birdie. Um. Uh, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Jared from Subway? Jared from Subway. Oh, okay. We're not a part of your conversation. What? What? I can see you. Alright. Let's see. I'm lost. Oh! I'm lost. <laughs> what has gone on here? Jared is lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm so baffled. Lost in the bunker of sand. Do do do. He's that close to the bunker. I have. If you just saw that shot, then you were probably feeling like Chaz, and what the hell just happened? He's angry. A much better shot from Chaz this time. Hopefully he lands on the green, gives him a nice look for par. I think he's done just that. 16-footer? Not bad at all. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea what just happened to Chaz's ball. Jared for his birdie. Oh, he just, just short. Slid on him a little more than I think he thought, but... The greens are a little slow. Eh, well, well, a little bit uphill here. I think Jazz is gonna have to give it a little more than he's than he would like. Oh yeah, this is we yeah. You can't really see the hole <laughs> Chaz, Chaz <is laughs> from that a angle. Pretty big fan of absolutely eating the ball. All right, let's see what he can do here with this putt for par. Can he save his par? That's well, that's not gonna do it. Nope, that is not gonna get the hill. Um, here comes the tap in bogey. Well, this is a nice little boggy. Yeet. Little golf claps for Chaz as he angrily picks up his ball and nods his cap with angry eyes. Very sadness. And Jared smacks it in for par. He wasn't very happy with uh, the delivery, but you yeah, know, he thought it might be too much, but it was just enough. Luigi fist bumps Cam. He's like, you know, that's all right. Hold two. Another par four. Three twenty-eight. It's rainy. <sighs> we are downwind a little a bit. Rainy. Uh, got ten miles to the back. Or ten mile per hour winds at your back. Hitting in a little rain. Green's gonna play slow. So the fairway, not going to get much roll out here. Look at the distance. But that is a great shot. Kind of takes a weird bounce off that little fucking valley. Um, Chaz might want to clear that if he wants a little more roll. Uh, looks like Mario's been in the gym more. I think I think the competitors forgot about the power shot. No, I think they forgot about Dre. And fun fun fact, I listened to that earlier today. Oh, but he hits the lip even worse, huh? Huh. 198 wow. by 3. No, he's kidding. Wow, this is a tough shot for Chaz. Have you and ever ever hit a ball into the water, James? No, it's going to go too low. 
So, oh, wow. Wow. No, hit below it. Hit below it. Yomp. Relic guy. He's pulling out the one wood. All right, he's going over the, the forward wood. here. It's the only club that'll get him over the ridge, but he's going to go long if he hits this full power. So he's really, really going to have to lay it in nice and tight. Could have worded that better. However. No, that was that was right. All right. You know. All right. Let's see what Chaz can do here. Well, still 10 mile an hour winds blowing a little bit northeast. He has to remember not to aim for Mario on the bottom. I agree. He did not do that. He might end up a little short of where he wants to be. But it's going to be a good shot from where his lie was. And he's going to be on the green. Honestly, couldn't have played it much better. He's got a 30-foot plot for birdie. The game. Nice on. Yeah, it was good. It was a good play from the Charlitos. It really feels like the wind here. Um, when it's blowing against you, it's blowing against you. But when it's blowing with you, it doesn't feel like it gives you much of a boost. No, I do feel like it blows. Yeah, I don't know. The wind is inconsistent. But We're it's talking moving. about this, and I have to agree with our competitors so far. That's a great 5-iron. Woo! Uh, that's a great, great, great 5-iron. So now Chaz has a pretty interesting putt here. It breaks a little right to left and comes back left right. Fun fact, Chaz is currently putting for a birdie, but he doesn't even like birds. It's a good point. No, you read it right. You just didn't give it enough. It's the rain. His hatred, Slow grains. His hatred for birds is why he didn't get that putt right Slow there. grains. Jared lines it up, and he rolls it in beautifully for a birds. birdie. And now he's back to even par. Or no, he's one under through two. That's right. I thought we were on hole three. I apologize. Chaz is looking for his birdie. No way. Or an open par. He drills it. He will stay at plus one. Chaz is off to a solid round. Jared's off to a riveting start. Granted, he's already played about 27 holes of golf in this game. <laughs> in yep. the last half hour. <laughs> yes, sir. But I digress. A little par three here. Five miles to the right, the wind is blowing. Pin is 187. Looks like a three wood. Going to be a three wood for most competitors here. A tough, it's, it's, it's really a tough pin position with that hill in front of the hole. Yeah, what Jimmy said. I don't I don't envy the man who has to hit it over that. That'll be you. But that will be a great shot. Rolls out maybe a little longer than he wanted, but only an 18 foot putt for birdie. Very makeable. Now, Mario, again, has been in the gym more than Luigi. That's why he hits the ball a little farther. Um, what do you think they use for weights in the Mushroom Kingdom? Probably hella goombas. <laughs> hella goombas? <laughs> Fuck hella goombas. You think? I, I, man, how much you bench, man? I bench about 12 goombas each side. You think, isn't goomba just a spoiled mushroom? Do you think you could, like, so Mario just got mushrooms in his cabinet, and he's like, this one's going to oh, spoil. I think I'll use it as a weight. Beautiful chest. What? Mario just leaves spoiled mushrooms so he can use them as weights later. Potentially. Or he uses swamps. Yeah. How many Goombas you lift? Uh, man, I'll put about 30 Goombas on each side. i just wrap them out. All right. Jared's going for a little birdie. Birdie attempt here. Oh, I had the speed. Did not have the line. Faded on him a little bit at the end. Chaz now has the line. He should learn from Jared's past mistakes. I know next Let's time. Let's see what Mario, Mario can do. Mario Golf Z. For a birdie to get back to even par. He's buried it. That's some power. He is buried it. Wow, he smacked it too. It was great. And Mario's an athlete. What? I mean, I feel like I feel like he'd be a great figure skater. Honestly, yeah, he would. If you've ever played <gasps> And Jared is lipped out on that's, the tap in. That's very sad. Oh, and, but he buries that one. That's if you ever great, played Mario job. and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, Mario's an elite figure skater. That as we can see. Ever seen. That was the smallest bar I've ever seen that. Both competitors at even par here. It is a Through. par five. Ooh, par five. Five twenty-eight. A long par five. You like these mountains in the background? Great scenery. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen mountains like this in the Mario Kingdom. I agree. I didn't know the Mario Kingdom was mountainous like this. I didn't know Mario Kingdom was chill like that. But they, but the Mario Kingdom really has. That's a right. Lot. You laugh. You laugh at that, Chaz. <laughs> The, Mar the Mario <laughs> Kingdom has golf courses, it has tennis courses, it literally has a baseball ballpark island. It does. 
does has a lot of amenities would do well in Civ. It would. Shout, that's a very niche joke. Shout out to anybody who understands that. <laughs> we don't even understand that. Barely. <laughs> As the Scottish Civ on Civilization Six, um, you can build golf, golf course. courses. <laughs> Which is relevant to this. A great shot from Marlio. Fire Clear the trees. Do, 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 do. Pushes it. Wow, he went driver off the deck. Bold. <laughs> it's a tough shot. For anybody who plays golf, you know how hard that fucking shot is. Bold and smoky. It's very, very old smoky. I love a good steak seasoning, bold and smoky. Oh, bold and smoky, not old smoky. I thought you were talking about the moonshine. No, I'd be talking about the song <laughs> on top of old smoky, smoky, all covered in cheese. That's on top of spaghetti. <laughs> 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 I don't think old Smokey's got a freaking spaghetti on it. She'll be coming round about when, when she, she comes. comes. Angry monkey. Froggy went to and he did right. Uh. Hey, the run boys run. Oh, that ain't it. That ain't it. Nope. <laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> Cancel for that, dude. What? I just want try it again. Try it again. What did you say? Froggy went to Corton and he did ride a. What the hell? Crambone. Damn. What is that? How oh, fuck do you not know that? What is that from? It's 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 like an old like folk song or some shit. We used to sing all that music You're class. Old You're weird. Folk song. You're weird for that. Not knowing that. Yeah, you don't know the. You words should know about Froggy and he went to Corton. You don't know the words to Jingle Bells. And he did ride a. Crambone. Desk cap. <laughs> Jingle You've never. Bell, jingle, jingle bell rock. That's Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> That's not even Jingle I Bells. Know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hate Christmas music. That's a sidebar, but I hate Christmas music. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. That's a great shot. As Jimmy shoots Christmas music. <gasps> Ooh, a great shot. Yeah, fuck Christmas music. No, like straight up, fuck Christmas music. Shit is ass. It played way too early. Fuck off. I'm a big Christmas music guy, actually. The only Christmas song I vibe with is I because the, the hat I got for Christmas is no, too big. Stop. So ring the bell and beat the drum. Ah, great song. Cut that out. A great birdie from Mario. Wow. I, mean, I was so focused oh, on hating Christmas business. that I didn't even realize that. Chaz just birdied, and Jared pars, but Chaz is now one under through for four. He's now making out with a monkey as well. <laughs> I don't think that here goes hole five. I uh, gotta go over a little bit of water here. The water isn't in too much play, but well, it maybe. is there. It is pushing 17 yeah. miles an hour to the left. Oh lord, the wind is taking hold. In the water. Oh, but he gets into the rough. Oh, he was close to going out, but. He's good. Now, Jared will cut against the wind because of his shot shape. Or it will be pushed even farther. Slice. We'll see, though. It's a fade. A slice would be all the way to the right. <laughs> yeah, sure. All the way. I'm so serious. That ball would have been in the right sand trap. <laughs> like, it. Clear the he water. Sliced it. He did clear the water. Great shot. He's in the fairway. He's a little short, but he, I think he's. That's he's, a tree. He's almost in a better. Oh, this is a tough shot. I think Jared. I'd hit the tree. It's a tough shot for Jared. Reason being, it's really got to play into a different shot shape. It's not his normal style. And um, maybe he's feeling he's going powerful. power ball. That's actually not a bad maybe, idea. Maybe he wants some top spins. That's not a bad idea from Jared. No, it's really not. I don't know if he can club he's up here, but the shot. He can club up. He can land one here. Be a sub above. Yeah, you could land one here. Let's see. Clear eyes. Full hearts. Can't lose. And he hits a damn tree. I mean. That's really a Wow. What a unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, as they say, the ball doesn't Chaz, fall far from the tree. Chaz has a rough shot here. He's literally in the rough. Um, he's going to have to chip it over with a nine iron. He might be able to club up. I don't know if he will be. He's clubbing down currently. He went to his putter. Um, I think this is pretty good putt shot. I think he could go... Yeah, with that 5-iron, I think he could go and hook it around. The wind is blowing in his favor. It's blowing a little forward. Um, Let's see. Let's I, do see. I do love a good pond. Let's see what he wants to go with here. 
Nice little water hazard. Let's see what he wants to go with here. Takes a shot, hits a good one. Beautiful nice shot. shot. Curving, curving, curving. Come back left. The water. It doesn't jump out too much. That's a great shot from Jazz. Actually, big did not go into the water. Jared has a nice clean look from the trees. Actually, I'm surprised. This was all according to plan. He yeah, absolutely. He actually told me pre-game. He said, "I'm going for the trees." He's actually just gonna hole out here. I think. Um, See, he's, he's gonna roll a little deep, but it's not that bad. He's it's only about a 21 he, footer. Luigi is the Lorax confirmed. Have you seen that mustache? That's a good point. Dude, he speaks for the trees. He does. That's for damn sure. Now, Chaz is gonna try to nestle this one up nice and close. Give himself a nice look at. Par. <laughs> if he holds out, it would be birdie. Uh, just hits a solid shot. He's got the wind plan. Let's see. He, he hits a great shot. Look at Mario on the bottom. He's like, ah! He uses the hill well. You know, Jerry's got a little bit of a swinger here. A little bit of a tough putt. Tough read, you know. But I think he's got it. I think he's got it here. What? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it automatically gives you the short ball. So. I don't know. Take it up with the game developer from 2003. Nope. Chaz, you I was even three alive fucking years old. Me and Chaz were three fucking years no, old. No, you <laughs> were you Three weren't. fucking years old. He had the line, ladies and gentlemen. He had it. It's not the power. It's tough to judge power sometimes. Chaz is a nice putt for par here. He, he is oh, looking he's to thinking. continue his hot start here. There no, wind? no, there's no wind. You're putting, bro. <laughs> Barely. That matters. I mean, the wind doesn't. If it is, if it is windy on a golf course, it will fuck up your putting a little bit. A little bit. But it's not as egregious as if your ball's up in the air. Fuck. And Chaz has hit it with his purse. Words of anger. Goddamn. This is a bogey putt. Bogey putt for Chaz. And he goes Double. back to oh. even through five. Just a bogey. And Chaz and Jared now has his bogey putt. And he goes back to one over through five as well. So. We do look kind of happy about that bogey. Um, almost too happy. Like right, it's a standard. Exactly. Now we got the hole six. Par four, little dog leg right. The wind is blowing that direction as well to the right, nine miles an hour. Not nothing crazy. I guess Boo is the keeper of the wind. And it's gonna be a great shot. It's gonna give him a nice look here. He's got a nice open look to the hole. So I think that's exactly what he wanted to do. Let's see what Jared can do. Jared is Taking looking a to approach. cut the corner a little bit, but he decides against it. Decides he wants to be a normie. Yeah. Listen, sometimes you like to play aggressive, sometimes it works out, but sometimes you just got to take what the course gives you, Somet you know? Sometimes you just quick pitch, Jimmy. Yep, sometimes you just got to take what the course gives you. Yep, exactly. Sometimes you cheese the game. Sometimes you cheese 2K. Or, or sometimes you cheese Mario Sports. Yep, just depends. Chaz is bringing out the four iron here, it looks like. Only hitting at 153? Kind of a bitch. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Big neck cracks from James. Oh, fucking hurts. All right. Fairies! Jez has hit it short, but it might pay off depending on the bounce he gets in the roll. I need more roll than that. I need more roll than that. Now, Jared's going to try to do something that Chaz cannot. Get the ball on the green. This music's elite. What are you talking about? It's very tough. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> You're not Mario. Okay. You're Chaz. It's very wrong. It's a me. I am me. No, I'm you are Kong. me. Great oh. shot from Jared here. I am it's going to definitely clear Chaz's ball. It's going to get on the green. It's going to be a long putt, though. 47 feet. Tough nice. Up. On. Chaz has a chip here. And I know what Chaz wants to do, but I don't know if he has the strength to do it. Okay, who said that? 
He only knows sports. All right, bro. <laughs> Jimmy, who's James Earl Jones? He fucking voices Darth Vader. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm glad you knew that this Get time. Get the fuck out of here. I knew that the last time. No, I didn't. Get the actual hell out of here. Hey, Jimmy, where's Singy de Bemahara located? What? The correct answer is Madagascar. Bitch, I could have guessed. You were you not give gonna, me a chance. You were not gonna say Madagascar. I could have got close. All right, where are the white cliffs of Dover? England. Thank you. Stupid ass. Stupid. Cliffs of Dover. Great guitar solo. <gasps> he <laughs> gives it a little rimmer. <laughs> yeah, Cliffs of Dover is a great guitar solo. By Eric. By the Riley guys. No, I'm pissed off. He missed the putt. Oh man, you will miss this putt, jackass. Boggy. Eric Johnson. That's his butt. Eric Johnson. It's a tough song in Guitar Hero, but it's a great song. It's a great solo. Boogie. Boogie for Mario, and now Luigi is plus two through six, and Mario is plus one. Shop idiot. Um, little par three. Little par three. Six mile an hour wins to the left. Oh. I don't know if I would consider myself a problem. You're no, you're a problem. I believe I'm the solution. To what? Everything. Okay, sure. Literally all of it. Alright. Oh, this mirror is titled the pub mirror. You're a pub. <laughs> My allegiance is to the pub and to your mom to democracy. <laughs> Who said that? Fucking Obi Wan. <laughs> Played by Ewan McGregor. What's his last name? Kenobi. Okay, Dear good. Lord. <laughs> Just gotta make sure, because you only know sports. Dear fucking God. Yeah, there's a whole stigma here that's been created by the people here that I only fucking know sports. And I would like to go on record and say that I am the reigning, defending, two time, instant feedback champion of the oh. world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big I didn't miss a single fucking question. That's a bunker ball. That's a bunker ball. General knowledge trivia, and I fucking obliterated everybody. Yeah, but he's not good at Jeopardy. Well, that's Cap. You've never seen me on Jeopardy. Yeah, get on there, kid. <laughs> I can never do that, dude. I'm, I don't have the memory retention for that. I don't. Mm. But yeah, there's a statement that I only know sports. And I would just like to say... It's like half true. That that's so untrue. I know so many other things not related to sports. You don't know where Singy was. Bitch, who knows where that is? You've played Civ 6? Yeah, and... <laughs> I haven't played that much. <laughs> the fuck is a Singy? <laughs> it's actually a really sweet-looking rock formation. It probably is, but... You a big fan of Pio Pio Tahi? Yeah, I'm actually by it. I mean, it has a yeah. Riley. Not very well. <laughs> Let's see what Jared can do out of the sand here. Let's see what Jared can do out of the sand. Don't fucking mute my mic, you piece of shit. Oh, nice. Nice. Alright, let's see. Let's see what Jared can do out of the sand here. I think he might be, he's gonna give himself a good shot here. Oh, checks up pretty nicely though. 12 feet, 12 feet for a par. Doesn't look very happy about it though. He's not, he's not thrilled. But I think if he makes his putt, he will be okay. He'll be fairly content. He drained it. What a great putt for par. Jared remains two under through seven. Gives his nose a little. Now low. here comes the Charles. And an eight footer, almost a nine. The Barrel's price. Here he is for. Give him the bar. And it goes in. And he is plus one still through seven. And we go on to hole eight. Coming to the end of the, the front nine. Yes, we are. I've, I've liked what I've seen here. You know, some like pretty, to, pretty low scores. I would like to agree. Pretty low scores. A nice little par four here. Hole eight. Um, let's see what these competitors can do. 20 mile an hour winds working against you here. 
Do you remember, this is hole eight and you still have three power shots. I think you just gotta slam the ball. And you get three per nine. So. And just like that, buddy. Seems like a you problem, eh? That is gone. That ball is smoked. The wind is pushing, and he gets about a normal drive out of it. <laughs> but better than being stuck back there. So, you know. I would like to agree. How did Jared get another power shot? Oh, really? I thought he used one on the one where he no. hit it into the trees. I'm tripping. No, he definitely oh. didn't, then. Dude, the wind is being so rude. All right, Jared does does get a little roll off the hill. Solid. He's playing off the side of it now. That is, that is tough. Um... Now what is what is Jared going or Chaz going to do here? He's gonna hit it with his purse. He might. He might. That's a typical thing to Chaz do. Actually, a typical Chaz move would be to 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 top it five feet in front of him. But uh, he hasn't done that. He's lifted it very well, and he had the right idea. The wind just got caught up in the wind too much. Just a little too much. Jared's going right at the hole. A little short. Wind's going to work against him, but he kind of cuts through it because he keeps the ball low. That's a great job from Jared right there. Seven, seven feet left for his birdie. And now Chaz here with a beautiful chipping opportunity. He's going to try to really lay it in here and get it to check up nice and soft. Gonna hit it. He's just passed, but he's only got seven feet. Still got a par opportunity. Here comes Jared for his birdie. I'm trying to get back to plus one through eight. And ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. He's done it. He's, he's done, done quite it. flawlessly. And now here comes Mario to stay at plus one through eight with a par. And he buries it. Big what par. a guy. What a lad. What an absolute fucking lad. We are all tied up here. Both are one under through. Eight going into hole nine, ending with a par five on the bat on the front nine. 498 to the pin. Kind of a shorter par five. Not super short, but shorter than the last one. You got 19 mile an hour winds working with you. That is good. You, th you think uh, our competitors have the opportunity to skip the ball across the water? I don't think that this game has that mechanic, but you sure would be impressed. Are you sure? Maybe a Bauer shot. So Chaz, yeah, potentially if if who the fuck is up, Charles? Yes, Barles. So yeah, potentially if Chaz hits a good power shot here, that is a solid power shot. Yeah, I was gonna say if he hits a good one here, he might be able to go for it in two, but I don't know if he's gonna have enough juice. Don't know if he's going to have enough juice to get there in two. Probably not. It's unfortunate. Oh, well. <laughs> well, the wind is working for him, so if he really wanted if he, to. If he wanted to, he could probably do it. This is ballsy, but sometimes you got to risk it. He's think. If he puts a little topspin on it, maybe. He's thinking about it. Oh, no, he's going to lay up. He's going to lay up. Definitely the smarter play. It's a smarter play, but sometimes you want to see the big, the big play. Yeah, sometimes you gotta let the big dog eat, and I, I would, I would agree that this is potentially a situation where the big dog gets to eat. But you know, conservative, it usually goes well. It usually goes well. So now let's see. So now Chaz has an opportunity to clear it. I mm. think he's gonna go for it. He's going for it, James. He's going to go for it. It's a beauty. That and I believe he's going to get over. Yes. The water. Room to spare. Beautiful Great shot clear. from Jazz. Here comes Jared trying to put it on the green. Still going driver off the deck. And That's a wedge. he's got the wind behind him as a one would. <laughs> nope. It's a wedge. <laughs> nope. You're a three wedge. It's his, <laughs> You're it's a one his, wedge. It's his butter. It's a, it, it, he, he only has one wood. Jared only has one woman. Crack. Welcome to monogamy moments. Um. <laughs> what? 
Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> someone out of me. I'm gonna tickle your foot right. if you're not I'll careful. Do it, dude. Yeah. It's, on the other, it's on the other foot. Alright, you can putt from there. You're only 226 feet out. <laughs> I think that'd be one of the greatest right, here comes, of all It would be time. impressive if you made it. Um, Now, Chaz has a fucking decision here. Does he want to chip it on? Or does he want to chip it not on? Do you want to chip it off? I think he wants to chip it off. He wants on. to go into the bunker. I believe he wants to stay out of the bunker, but we'll see. No. We shall see how he's feeling. Oh, oh. It's going to be a good shot, actually. It is actually a phenomenal shot. It's going to be a really good shot. It's going to check up. Oh, wow, a little backspin. Wow. Jared here. He's currently bewildered. Now, here's what Jared's going to do. I think he's got a good strategy. I think he's really lining it up here. Let's see. Can you tell me more about good this strat? Push. What do you like about it? Well, it almost went in the hole. That's what I like about it. <laughs> he had he had the right lineup. He had the right power. I mean, he had a great, he had a great, great, great approach shot. But he will have a look at birdie to go to even through nine and through the front. Going into the back and beyond. Bed bath and beyond? Nope. Back shots and beyond. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> All right. Jared for his birdie to close out the front nine and to go to even par. Just as he was. No. Well, Beautiful putt. Sinks it. Wow. And Jared goes to even par. That was literally a par. He's plus oh, one. that was a par? I thought it was a birdie. No. His last shot was birdie. Oh, uh, trash. Birdie putt. Tough. All right. Both get pars. Both are plus one through front nine. A great nine from both competitors. Um, really found a groove there. feel like they were just locked in really consistent. Um, you know, could have played better. Sure. You couldn't have played that much better. So. Monkey abuse. There is monkey abuse going on, as you can see in the camera. Um. So yes, Chaz. What is this violence? Is plus one. The monkeys don't want and anything. They just Jared want violence. It's plus one. They're not interested in food. Only violence. So now we're gonna go to player post nine interviews at the turn here, starting with. Give me Chaz. Chaz. All right, Chaz, tell me about the front nine and more specifically why there was monkey abuse. Well, there was monkey abuse simply because, like, that was the closest thing to me that wasn't a human uh, that I could beat the shit out of. And uh, Jared shared that moment with me. I think that was a special moment. I think that monkey really deserved that just based off of what happened in that game. There were some, there were some strokes that were absolute anomalies in this yeah. game. I really do think so. There were some that, like that last one, you saw me confused because if you look where it said it was gonna posit, where it said it was gonna be at that, the wind was going str like dead straight at 20 miles an hour, and where it said it was gonna go, if I hit it that at that point in the yards meter, it went to almost the other side of the green. Yep. I don't know why it did that. Um, there was a few that took unbelievable rolls, like the two me and Jared had both went in the sand. I thought those were fucking crazy. Very true. Um, so, yeah. It was, I mean, you know, me and him both come away plus one. But it is a little annoying because I just feel like sometimes there were definitely some opportunities. We both could have finished under for that court, for that course, for the for that front. I think those are some pretty valid thoughts, honestly. Mm -hmm. And um, do, you ever, do you ever think about, like, the consequences of your monkey actions? Do you think they'll be, like, a... Planet of the Apes movie coming out like you think that'll like spark a rebellion like what are your thoughts you, well there already are Planet of the Apes movies Do you think out there, there'll be like another one about that moment mm. exactly what yeah. yeah I thought they were done with that series isn't Caesar dead oh okay and yeah he does have a kid like Rise All right. The yep. King, the kingdom of. Well, it's a good thing monkeys don't talk or you know, speak. Instead, monkeys, they're out there throwing if, shit at if people. If monkeys f discovered fire, it's raps. I think. I think that we would have. A I new, think it's raps for you. 
Well, absolutely. I would be. I think it's reps for, j- j- like, just you. Well, I think I... the rest of the world will be fine. Okay. Well, while I'm uh, rotating on a rotisserie chicken for a bunch of monkeys, we're going to pass it over to Jared and Jimmy for their uh, Jared's front nine and post interview. All right. Yep. Fuck Mario Golf. Hello. I'm here with the second of the competitors from that little front nine, Bonanza. Jared, um, tell me how you feel about uh, your performance there on those first nine holes. I feel like I, uh, I slipped. I don't know. I think I could have done a lot better. I feel like the game cucked me on a bunch of those. Like I lipped out, I think twice. Yeah. That, that was dumb. Lipping out's dumb. The rain sucks. I don't know. I can't. I can't gauge that well. I feel like I've. I should just be playing so much better. Okay. Well, yeah. Sometimes bounces aren't going to go your way. I feel that. You know, golf guys are on your side some days. Um, you know, what are, what are we? What are, what are the adjustments here going into the back nine for you? I think I just gotta mash a as quickly as possible for those little ones. I don't I lipping out is just unacceptable. It's tough, yeah. I, it is unacceptable. I, I gotta. I think I actually have to get my putt farther away so I don't have the chance to lip it out. Not a bad idea. Um, anything else you want to add before we go to the next pairing? Just about to do. No, I. I wish them luck. I, my competitor did great. It was really fun to tour the course with him. Absolutely. All right. Well, the monkey. Uh, Absolutely deserved. Yeah, it. I think the monkey did deserve he, uh, it. Finally, yeah, you got it. What he was the worst caddy. He, he's the reason I lipped out. He said, "Jared asked the monkey, what club should I use?'" The monkey went, "Oh," and Jared went, "The fuck does oh?" Mean? I drove and I, <laughs> he, he tried to pick up my ball. <laughs> monkey threw my ball in the water. <laughs> All right. Well, then we will we will send it down to the course where the next parent is about to tee off, which is will, you and which is me, Colin. Colin. And I should probably get down there. Uh, we're actually teeing off in three minutes, so I should probably get down there. Um, Mr. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. We'll see you there. Good luck. Yeah, thank you.